Welcome to handsonerp.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this session, we'll talk about SLA module, the real accounting hub. So let's talk about what will happen in previous releases of Oracle applications, like release 11i. You will create a transaction in subledger, and you will transfer it directly to the general ledger module. And the transaction and its distribution that you could see through the subledger module is what you will call accounting. But in release 12, this has changed. The transaction and its distribution that you're seeing in your subledger, like payables, receivables, purchasing, auto management, and so on, is not representing your accounting. This is your default accounting. So in release 11i, you will call the transaction and its distribution as accounting. In release 12, you will call it default accounting. Why default accounting? Because it will be intercepted along the way. There is another module between the subledger and general ledger module as we talked about in the previous session and that is called subledger accounting. This is how it would work in release 12. We have another module in between called subledger accounting and this is the module that owns all the accounting that is coming from subledger. So accounting information will be read from subledger. That's why we call it default accounting because this information will be read for the purpose of creation of accounting and that doesn't mean that this will be the final accounting. Accounting could change based on the accounting rules we are using in subledger accounting module. So even the account numbers could change. So that's why the accounting that is created by subledger accounting module is what we are going to call accounting and this is what that will be transferred to the general ledger module. In release 12, accounting that is created in the subledgers could differ from the accounting that is there in subledger accounting module. When you run create accounting program, accounting gets created in subledger accounting module based on what you have in the subledger. So this is default accounting, this is the actual real accounting a single source of truth representing what you have in your subledger. You can enter an intercompany journal in the system but you cannot post it until the journal is balanced by the company. So intercompany lines have to be added in the journal to make it balanced by the company. So journal has to be balanced as a whole meaning total debits must be equal to the total credit as a whole for the journal and also this must be true for each of the company within the journal. So total debit and credit must be equal to each of the company within the journal. So first segment here we're assuming is a company segment and let's assume we have only two segments here, company and national account. Here these two lines will automatically be added by the system based on your setup of course and then this journal would be posted. Now this journal is balanced by each company as well. Now you can see intercompany accounts have been used and you can define that in the setup like which account do you want to use for which combination of the companies here we are assuming one account and uh, so we debiting company one by the same account and debiting company two by the same account and by the same amount as we are seeing in the first two lines so this makes this journal balance. In release 11i if you have defined the intercompany setup then balancing lines will automatically be created, intercompany balancing lines will automatically be created at the time of posting. So you may have a journal sitting here which is not balanced by the company segment and when you post it then additional lines will be created within that journal. So now that journal is balanced by the company as well as as a whole and now you can post it so it will be posted and balances, balances would be created. So posting is a program that would create the balancing lines. Now in release 12 this has changed a bit. In release 12 when you create accounting either by running the create accounting program or by using online create accounting option at that point balancing lines would be created in the journal that go, uh, gets created in subledger accounting module. So subledger accounting module will have a complete picture it will not have a journal that is missing balancing lines. It will have a complete journal. Hence, this is a true accounting representation of subledgers. Keep in mind that posting program will still create balancing lines for those journals that you are directly entering in the 
journal ledger module or journals that are coming from other sources but anything that is passing through the create accounting will have balancing lines created at this point. In release 11i a reconciliation between a subledger and GL would be performed by running transaction reports in a subledger that will display the transaction level information, transaction and lines and accounting report would be run from GL that will display balances so this way two reports could be compared and that would be uh, reconciliation. In release 12 it's not important to compare your transactions in subledgers with the balances in GL because now we have subledger accounting that is holding the true accounting information. In release 11i accounting information would be held by the subledger directly. In release 12 true accounting is residing in subledger. So comparing your transactions in subledger directly with GL is not as important and we are going to look into the actual period and processes in each of the modules in coming lessons but before we go there it was important to refresh our memories with uh, the role of subledger accounting